And welcome back to part two of the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 playthrough. Uh, oh no, we're in the waters level now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is the zone that introduces this, um, concept to the game of the Game Gear version. The tubes. <laughs> tubes! Tubes! They're fucking tubes. But need to extend the game. Need to extend the game? Tubes. Mm hmm. Hey, some tubes. That's basically how it works. And this will be a staple throughout the future Game Gear Sonic games as well. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. Like, generally, like, the Sonic has actually had, like, a healthy amount of Game Gear Dead. games. <laughs> Almost death. <laughs> Ooh, you got, you got lucky. Yeah, I did. Yeah. You got lucky. Yeah, this this bubble thing that you have to influence with the directional buttons is actually reused in Sonic Mania, so nice callback. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, Sonic has had, actually had like a healthy career on the Game Gear. Like he's gotten the like the Sonic One and Two D makes. Then he got two original platforming games. Then also two racing games on there. And then I also think, yeah, Tails got two. Um, spin-off games on the Game Gear as well. Tales oh, yeah. Adventure, Tales Adventure. Mm-hmm. And then uh Tales Sky Patrol. Yeah, Sky Patrol, that's the one, yeah. I have not played the Tales spin-offs games right there because uh I d I don't care. Who <laughs> <laughs> <I> would? <laughs> yeah, just you know, the the very hardcore Sonic enthusiasts. The ones that need to go out and buy a legitimate um Neo Geo pocket or whatever I forgot what that thing was called, but it was like the system that played Sonic Pocket Adventure on. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna assume no. Great. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I I don't know what that's on, but it was like the very hardcore stuff. Yeah, I only bought the platformer ones. I didn't even buy the racing ones because I'm not that big of a racing game fan. Just gotta say that. I'll play my fair share of Mario Karts here and there, but that's like the only good kart racer. <laughs> series or most like, recognizable one there might be some others right there i i did play like sonic and all-stars racing transformed well yeah what a mouthful there uh, <laughs> and that was um that was fun now i don't own it anymore <laughs> god i freaking hate this chasm or like this freaking chamber in this section right here because you have to carefully influence your bubble here, but then there's those lobster enemies, and there are also arrows from the walls that shoot out at you, and it's freaking annoying. And this is the only way to progress. This is required. <laughs> Don't like this game. <laughs> and then there's a, <laughs> then there's this wall of spike ceiling. So if you happen to be on <laughs> on over on the uh, right side of the screen, you're fucked. Ah. <laughs> uh. But uh, yeah, um, but the Game Gear stuff. That's kind of why when um, the um, the 3DS versions of Sonic Generations came out, uh, everyone was like, "Why didn't you just like you know call back to the handheld era stuff?" Because there's the, the Game Gear games, the Advance games, then the Rush games, and uh, only the latter half, or like the latter third of Sonic Generations 3DS only did the Rush games. And everyone's like, why can't you do all of them? The, like, the callbacks of the handheld eras, you know? Because they just did, like, other levels from the Genesis games and the adventure games. Like, not, like straight up, like, the first third of the 3DS generations, it did Green Hill, Casino Night, and Mushroom Hill from Sonic 1, 2, 3, respectively. Yeah. Yeah, and they're just straight rips of the actual Genesis levels for Classic Sonic. Straight up rips. It's not even funny. <laughs> uh, so yeah. That that version of the game is not particularly good. No. It's like the definition of a cash grab, you might say. I, I want to go back to you mentioning Mario Kart. Hmm. Are you planning on doing anything Mario Kart related? Ah, I'm glad you mentioned that. <laughs> so, in 
what, what we do in around the March time of the channel. Thank you for liking and subscribing to our channel. We like to do this live stream uh, every year on the first day of spring called Mario Kart Spring. Uh, we've we've tried it and it failed in previous years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it didn't really. It was kind of iffy the last couple times. Because <laughs> what ha what happened in the 2018 one? I wasn't there for that one. And um, uh, what 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 happened? Like how did how did the echoing thing happen again? Oh yeah, yeah. So fucking um. Because, 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 like when you're when you're recording stuff with like an Elgato, there's like there's like like that has its own like microphone like recording thing and stuff like that. And so like I was going to record with that and just turn off the OBS one, but I forgot to do that. <laughs> so you would hear you would hear us talking from OBS, and then you would hear us talking again, delayed from the capture card because there's a delay to it on the capture card. Uh huh. So it'd be the exact same thing over, just like a second later, you'd hear it again. Basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, it was not good at all. And then the 2019 year, um, the ca your capture card died like halfway through, <laughs> and we only had three parts of it. Oh, that's what happened. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's what happened at least because we we wanted to do more, but then I think we all know we all looked at your computer monitor and it's like, um, why is it still on the title screen? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, oh no. So yeah, uh, we tried and it failed both times. <laughs> then we just absolutely skipped out in 2020. Well, because you didn't even run the channel in 2020. Exactly. You you see you had stopped the channel entirely in 2020. Exactly. Now we're back, baby. Yeah. It's gonna be yeah, great. Yeah, I'd like to point out you're really only back because no one held up on their word on the reason why you left in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, basically. And I was the only one who was still kind of going. Kind of. Like, did you even release any videos? From I did in that. I did. I did a few in that time frame. Okay. Uh, but I was it was still about what it was where I would release one like every few months when I wasn't caught up in such in a lot of crap Okay But yeah. I, I did release a couple in that time frame. Okay. Yeah, cuz I faintly remember it was either last year or this year you uploaded a, a Video of yourself doing a Henry Stickman game. Yeah, I did Henry Stickman and then after that I did um, I believe it was our bomb thing with me and Josh that me and him normally do. Oh yeah, that was a thing. Was Which it? I got I don't remember when's the last time we did one and since apparently this has become a yearly thing with me and Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let's man. see. October 20th of 2020 so it's been over a year. Yeah, that's what I thought. Since I did that video. So Josh, you know what we must do. <laughs> that's That'll be the next game box video. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, honestly, yeah. Like, if that, that's what you want to do, Cameron, we can make that a game box video. Uh, yeah, you only right. got a... I wouldn't have an issue with that. <laughs> you only got a couple days left until 2022. <laughs> uh, we're recording this in 2021, by the way. I, I did six videos in 2020. Oh, okay. Huh. Which was that Henry Stickman, uh, the bomb video. The one that I made where I promoted the game box when it first started. Oh, thank you. <laughs> my, a video that I now have set privatized, which was the video I made about the election. Oh, you privatized that? I did privatize oh, that. I didn't even know. Mm, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How, the, the, oh, yeah, Cameron. The still, the still Minecraft video that I have privatized that I made that I that Josh had edited for me. And then the uh, the rant I had about uh, the Seahawks. Oh yeah, I do remember that Seahawks win. Oh yeah, Cameron, yeah. How, how was the insurrection the other day? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little bit, a little bit of story for those who don't understand. I just came back from DC like on Tuesday. Yeah. For a for a Seahawks game. Um, 
And I had visited the monuments that were there. Yeah, and you had uploaded a couple of photos of the Capitol and the Supreme Court building. I didn't. I didn't take a photo of the Capitol Penis. building, Penis. but I had the. I had the. George, I had the George Washington Monument. Yeah. The Abraham Lincoln Monument. The Jefferson Memorial, Penis. one, which is my favorite, actually. Uh, and then I didn't think I don't think I posted this, but I also had um, one of the uh, uh, Vietnam monument or the Korean monument. Oh, OK, that's Penis. cool. But I did not Penis. upload those ones. OK. Penis. So that's cool. Penis. Yeah, and that was like the first that's the first time I've ever been to D.C. Penis. Yes, I did edit in these pinguses, ladies and gentlemen. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna do that with every Sonic game, every bumper. It's gonna be great. <laughs> oh, you'd be so I you'd be surprised what I've had Josh done for every single vehicle jump in Halo. Oh. Oh, that'll be interesting now. <laughs> I'm excited now. Uh but yeah, uh, we're now in Casino Night Zone. This will also be nice tales. <laughs> <laughs> he was inside the wall. Good job. Um, yeah, Casino Night is like I, everybody's like either favorite zone from Sonic 2 or, or like second favorite zone. There are a lot of zones. Oh yeah, welcome to Green Hills Zone, by the way. Not Green Hill. Green Hills. <laughs> Nice. That's how it's different. There's more hills. <laughs> there's more. There's more than a single hill. <laughs> right. Not that I don't think any of us thought in the uh, previous games that there was just like one singular hill in Green. Speak for yourself, man. Oh yeah, really? That'd be kind of funny, honestly. There's just like there's just like one hill, and then the rest is just a straight. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? That'd be funny. I can just imagine level that it's just like a singular mound of a hill. Sonic has just has runs over it. Stage clear. That's it. That's the entire stage. <laughs> but no, this game wants to be fancy and have more than one hill. Wow. Now there's two. <laughs> <laughs> These don't even look like hills. This is just a bunch of springs that I'm bouncing off of just to get more height. This is really bad, by the way. Especially in the third act of this, of this zone, because, like, um, uh, Act 3 follows the same logic from uh, Game Gear Sonic 1. It's basically just a boss stage with no rings in it. That doesn't mean that the level design's bullshit. And even right now... Oh, yeah, so do you have to go up to where those other springs are? Yeah. I'm trying to do the... Yeah, this is where... Yeah, freaking Chaos Emerald. Uh, that's what I thought. Thanks, Sega. <laughs> Thanks, Sega. Yeah, this is not good. All the, those darn green hills. <laughs> Plural. <sighs> Alright, now Casino Night. Yeah. Like, from what I can tell from, like, the people that really like Sonic 2 or just think of it as, like, a good game just generally to play. Because, like, I think, like, Sonic 2 is really open to, um, like, even the general audience as well. And from what I hear from, like, the general audience of Sonic 2 as well, it's just, like, um, every zone is cool and it has its own fans and all that. Like, every zone in this game is very, um, nice. I freaking failed that. Uh, <laughs> every zone in Sonic 2 is basically like very memorable for certain different reasons and all that. And uh, it's just really fun level design, true traversery, especially this one because of the whole pinball thing. See, this is where the pinball um, mechanics of Sonic 2 were introduced. Of like Sonic the Hedgehog series generally were introduced. Because we'll be seeing these ping. ping pong. <laughs> pinball things. <laughs> I got the other ping backwards. Pin. No, there's not even a ping in pinball. What am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, a bunch of pinball mechanics in lots of future Sonic games. Like that one stage in Forces. Remember that? No? Good. <laughs> yeah, nobody remembers that stage because Classic Sonic did not need to be a thing in that game. <laughs> not at all. 
But yeah, this is this would be this zone would be an inspiration for many other zones in the Sonic franchise to come. Yeah. Like Sonic CD, this uh, like um that's Collision Chaos right there. Um, trying to think. Oh yeah, there's a casino, Casinopolis in Sonic Adventure. Yeah, which is actually a really fun stage. Actually, I like that one. Like I've sometimes gone into Sonic Adventure just to play the pinball tables in that game. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> like I don't, I don't care about the, the claiming the stage at all. I just wanted to spend time on the pinball tables. Cause I'm just gonna I, play some good pinball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause like, I want to say I'm decent at pinball. Um, yeah. It's like whenever I'm like one of those like callback arcade things because arcades aren't a thing in the US anymore um, but like when they want to have those like really fun um, callback arcades that you can see somewhere here and there they always have a bunch of pinball tables lying around and I always want to play them because they look so fun to do and I'm like fairly decent at them fairly decent I'm not gonna say that I can spend all day there uh, like I only used one quarter today, <laughs> and I got the highest score. I got the highest scoreboard, score on the board. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not that good, but I'm like fairly decent at it. I wish I were decent at this boss, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, fine. Yeah. What would you guys say? Huh? Dark outside. That's because it's not daylight savings, my guy. Oh, but oh well, too bad. <laughs> Are you guys any good at pinball at all? Fuck, I I like playing it, but I'm not good at it. Okay. <laughs> Josh, can I mean, it's kind of difficult to be <laughs> kind of to be good at pinball. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a difficult game. <laughs> Yeah, especially when you get the ball rolling, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, like, the, the ball is, like, goes really super fast on the table, and it just comes to, like, quick reflexes from the bumpers and all that. And the flippers to, like, keep the momentum going and stuff. Because that ball is, like, super smooth, and so is that table. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, so you just have to keep, um, you know, fast reflexes and just keep your eye on the ball, and it's gonna go like zipping across the table, <laughs> up and down and all around, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I really like those intricate tables where the, um, like it has tracks going onto like a higher ground than the table, then just oh, like, like those ones, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like you have your own little playing area up there and just try to keep the ball up in the higher platform as long as you can until it drops it down. Those are really cool. Pinball's great. I'm not doing Sonic Spinball. <laughs> uh, do you guys know that? Do you guys know that game? No. Oh, there's this the Genesis game, uh, Sonic Spinball. Um, it's sort of like a pinball platform. It basically just takes a casino night mechanics and makes it its own game um it's kind of Isn't there, a DLC for that for, uh, in there was a dlc for it in sonic generations but that's that's just straight up pinball pinball yeah, yeah. <laughs> no sonic spinball is, is like an action platformer with what? pinball mechanics yeah i'm not oh, kidding yeah. this is the thing also something like that in uh sorry what isn't there a pinball thing in sonic heroes as well Oh, there's that one stage, Bingo Highway, I want to say. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. It was, um, it was really bad. <laughs> yeah, it was not good. Yeah, because the thing about, like, the pinball table it had in that one is, like, the camera was centered on you, not the pinball table. And so you could oh, not... Oh, yeah! You couldn't, you couldn't Dude, even tell the design. Yeah, you, yeah, you couldn't even tell where you're gonna go because you don't know what the layout of the table you're on looks like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, really bad. I never got to ask my question when it came to Mario Kart. Oh, sorry, yes? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to know if you guys do it or not? Yeah, exactly, that was my question. Yes, Mario Kart 
spring 2020. Because the last two times you've done this shit, I never got a, I never got an invite. Yeah, okay. Well, and that made like, me... Yeah, they get- I was like, I don't know how we're going to do it, but... You want to. Dependent on, in a way, yeah. I'll buy a damn Switch if I have to. And do yeah, online. You, you'll have to. You'll have to, won't you? Unless you want to buy a plane ticket. Well, yeah, you're gonna have to do constant. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. The the fucking plane ticket would be cheaper than the switch. Yeah, that's what I was. Uh, that's what I was about to say. You'd have to do cost benefit analysis. Is it cheaper to get a Nintendo Switch along with oh, a copy okay. of Mario Kart Eight or a plane ticket from <laughs> Carolina yes, to Oregon yes, but and back? Yeah, you have to think of the long term. Now, just plane ticket is a one one and done. The switch is like kind of long term. Oh, yeah. And also to th- and also to think about it, the days I would have to like actually go out there. Mm-hmm. I because I probably have to go out probably during yeah, like like it says cross benefit. We got yeah, got to think like is buying a plane ticket worth it while instead of buying the switch? Yeah, I have no problem buying the switch and buying a copy of the game. I've been wanting to get a switch for a while. Oh, so really? ever since I got my ever since I got my job. Well, yeah. By the way, for those who don't know, I have a job now. It also give you uh, an opportunity for you to practice this with some Smash Bros. Now, yeah, fucking would because I suck at it. 